Hello everybody. So I have been doing more research on STEMS Athena software and trying to compare it to the Tesla auto bidder software and more generally the Tesla energy software suite, which is a much newer software suite than Athena, which, which is why I think there's, there's very little data on Tesla's auto bidder. But nonetheless, we have some evidence that Tesla's auto bidder is a formidable competitor to Athena. So let me just talk a little bit about the software. Um, because, you know, buying, buying STEM, investing in STEM, uh, I believe over the over long term, you're mostly interested in that software, mostly because being in the, in the engineering and design of, of, of this system, it, it just does not have the gross margin than, than, than one would want in an investment. And even if it did have high gross margins, there's no way you would have the velocity Right, because these projects take take years. E even the behind the meter projects on the call, they they explain it takes multiple years. So there's no way you're going to have that velocity of sales in order to have sustainable, strong revenue growth. Right, revenue growth has to come from software. So let's just talk about the software, and let me begin by the competition. So the competition, recent competition, is Tesla Energy Software. So Tesla has developed an advanced ecosystem of software to support its energy hardware products, right? They're a vertically integrated company. They do everything in-house. And they've released the different applications within their software, which is AutoBidder, which is what most people call the name of a Tesla Energy software. Uh, I don't know if they'll market it better and have better marketing and come up with an actual name for it. Uh, AutoBidder is what most people still call it, but actually it's much more than AutoBidder. You have AutoBidder, Power, uh, Power Hub, Microgrid Controller, Opticaster, and Virtual Machine Mode. And these are some of the cases where, where you can apply the, the software, the, the software you can, can apply so to, to fleet management of of, of uh, electric vehicles or delivery vehicles, uh, commercial solar grids, microgrids, reselling, plant operators, utilities, independent power producers, and energy market traders. So they are focusing on the same market as Athena. Frankly, it, it, it's very much like Athena. Let me show you... Um, and this is the, the best of my attempt at, at comparing both software. So we have the applications in the Tesla software, which are AutoBidder, Power Hub, Microgrid Controller, Opticaster, and Virtual Machine. And so I went into the description of each, and this is this is this is what I've come up with, right? right? So the analyzer and the explorer uh, would be in Tesla software, the Opticaster. The bidder in Athena would be the auto bidder in the Tesla software. Um, the supervisor in Athena would be the microgrid controller in Tesla software. Explorer in Athena would be Opticaster, I said that already, and power track in Athena would be Power Hub. Uh, but from what I see, there is nothing that the Tesla software does not offer, that is not offered by Athena. They are, they are, they have pretty much a full overlap here, at least to the best of my ability. And that's why I'll say, you know, maybe maybe it's too hard for me because I'm not an insider of the sector. So maybe it's just it's just too hard for me to analyze it because because I'm not inside the sector. That's also a possibility. Um, one thing that I found is the virtual machine mode, which is kind of an imitation mode, like you, you can Im imitate a, a, a natural gas plant. Um, that seems to be only specific to the megapacks, where, where megapacks can stabilize the grid by imitating the energy signature of different production plants, be them coal or natural gas or nuclear, and by imitating these... Um, you know, electric curves, electric movements, they are able to stabilize the grid by creating a, a fully fake plant and making the grid believe that actually it's not a mega pack, but actually it's a natural gas plant. And I think that's pretty unique to mega pack. And when I look at the use cases, and, and feel free to pause the video and, and look at the equivalence, but to me, I see equivalence pretty much everywhere to Tesla's use cases. These, these are used for the same purposes. These two softwares are used for the same purposes. But I think more importantly is we need to talk about the size, right? Which is the bigger software? And this is where we get in, we run into issues because we don't have, um, you know, data on Tesla Energy Software. You know, Athena claims they're the number one, but they don't, they don't know any better. They don't, they don't have the data. 
right? Uh, the data is public. Tesla is not. Uh, Tesla is only releasing what it wants to release. That's Tesla's competitive advantage to not tell us the data. And so, what do we know? Well, we know that that this this type of software is about the asset under management, quote unquote. So, how much gigawatt hour of storage of Megapack are you installed on? And that's kind of your AUM, your asset under management. And, you know, I went back through four 10K annual reports for Tesla to look at how many gigawatt hours they've installed. They've installed a total of almost 17 gigawatt hours total. And really, it started getting speed in 2019. In fact, they installed more in 2019 than everything prior to 2019. Um, in 2020, they doubled again from 2019. And in May 2020 is when they launched their software their auto bidder. So Athena's competitor was launched in May 2020. In 2021, they sold almost four gigawatt hours of, of, of installation, right, of mega packs. And we know from, from the team leader of auto bidder uh, in an interview, he said that they manage 1.2 gigawatt hours right now. And that's the last time we've heard about the size, the AUM of the Tesla software is the last time we've heard is, to, is March 2021. And so today, in 2022, they have 6.5 gigawatt hours of megapacks. That's a total of 16.66 gigawatt hours installed. And we we don't know what the size of Autobeater auto is. And if you know, please tell me, because I was not able to find it. We don't know what the asset under management for Autobeater right now for Tesla's energy software is. All we know is that 24 months ago, it was 1.2 gigawatt hours. And I can safely assume that it's much, much, much bigger now. They probably had major upsell in all of the pre-installed um, um, installations, and also the way the way they sell this. Right when you when you buy a 2.7 million dollar mega pack, uh, it, it's typically personalized selling. Right, you're going to be ex exchanging emails, talking with a Tesla team, and I would assume this is when they negotiate auto bidder and offer auto bidder to people ordering mega packs. Also noteworthy is that Tesla plans to install 1,500 gigawatt hours so they've they've really really just gotten gotten started they made a one one percent dent so they have like 99 percent to go 90 percent nine percent of the growth is gonna come until 2020 30 that's that's a big goal that they have here and i believe it's gonna be an easy upsell for them to just whenever someone places an order on their website to just contact them by email and say oh by the way it comes with a little bitter for like a year and then it's it's whatever price it is i don't know um but but we'll see so what can we say in matters of size, right? So in matter of size, we have Tesla versus Athena. We know we know that energy software, the Tesla energy software went from zero to 1.2 gigawatt hours, right? It was launched in May of 2020. So it it went it went from zero to 1.2 gigawatt hours, March 2021, uh, in 10 months. It took 10 months to 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 capture that much of a market. We don't know where it is now, but it's been 24 months. And we know that Athena has just a tad higher than two gigawatt hours in March 2022, and the software was launched in 2009. So in my view, the way I look at this and the way we haven't had any data for Tesla for 24 months, I, I am willing to accept the fact, willing to accept the fact that Tesla energy software is probably much bigger now. It's, it, it would have to be, in my view. It would have to be bigger than Athena because Athena publishes its number. Tesla doesn't publish, it, publish its number. But if you just extrapolate the trajectory of that growth, like there's no way the growth halted in, in, in March, right? It, it probably kept on, kept on with its inertia. So the growth of the software is probably much higher. So, so Athena, in my view, is probably number two in, in their management of battery packs, large battery packs. Uh, and, you know, it's understandable. You know, Tesla has, has a very easy sell, right? They deal directly with people ordering mega packs on their website. It's an easy sell for them, right? Plus, a lot of these utilities who buy these mega packs, they probably have their own engineering teams, right? That directly can design those things and don't really need a uh, STEM service to design them. Uh, but here's what I believe, though. I do believe that, uh, however, right, Athena is still an option for megabyte buyers using their engineering and design services, and for buyers of non-Tesla megapacks, right? For buyers of mostly Chinese megapacks, I believe Athena is a very compelling software, actually. Um, because, and, and this, is where, this is where I get thinking, this is where it gets me thinking, like, is investing in STEM too hard? Because frankly, if you look at Tesla, you're getting Autobidder for free. 
right? It's kind of part of a package. You're, you're, you're getting so much for free when you invest in Tesla. Um, you know, is STEM too hard? Because, you know, what is the negative? Well, I don't want to be in the in engineering and design consulting business. I don't want to be in that business. That business has too, too low of a velocity of, of, of money. This is a too slow business, right? This is a, a old school industrial business. That's not the business I want to be in. The margins are too low. It scales too slowly. I want to be in the software business. Um, you know, and, and, and here's another thing to think about is what are the odds that Tesla mega pack users will choose STEM instead of a Tesla energy software? Right, and I would I would argue that over time they will they will be low. The early sales of of mega packs, you would have no choice but to go with Athena. But today you have a choice, right? Also, another important point: if you get a mega pack, do you get some of the features with Athena, like virtual loads? Do you get that, or do you actually need to buy the Tesla software to get all of the features and the full potential of your mega pack? So that's the negative here. But not worthy that STEM still installs you know, a large amount of megapacks, like it's it's their number one sell. What are the positives though? There's a few positives. So many are going to opt for non-Tesla megapacks. And, 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 and I believe that if you go for a non-Tesla megapack, STEM will probably continue to be able to attach its Athena software to non-Tesla megapack users, right? Um, and so, what we can see is that these uh, there's a lot of Chinese manufacturers. If you go on Alibaba, I mean, I mean the this is the, the type of revolution that really makes me concerned for for utilities because it seems like the the, the problem of, of batteries you know has almost been solved today. When you see vo, vo, those prices, by the way, each of these installs are multiple megawatt hours, um, and in China, right, you go on Alibaba, this is nine hundred ninety thousand. It's cheaper if you buy more than ten. Uh, this is another one with with uh you know so 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 what you're at six hundred and sixty six thousand right here for a free megawatt system sure it's not the brand sure it's not the highest end but you know it's still energy storage sure it doesn't have the same warranty but it's still energy storage and a lot of people uh who are financially constrained or more short-term short-term thinkers or people who simply don't care about having the highest quality product they are likely going to go with a lot of these with a lot of these chinese alternatives um and they'll work fine for a lot of companies they they, they will work just fine for a lot of companies uh, and so I believe in this situation, STEM will have a major selling point. Now, the problem is that when STEM is installing these, if you, if you listen to the latest conference call, you know that one of the reasons why they've been selling so many mega packs is they had trouble getting their hands on the Chinese uh, uh, mega packs because the demand is extremely high. And you could understand when you see these prices, you could understand why the demand is so is so high. Don't forget, you can't get a Tesla mega pack for under two point three million dollars. I believe is the entry entry par, uh, entry price. Now, warranted so many of the Tesla uh, combinations are are bigger and have much power but but still per my research a a, a chinese mega pack from from a reputable chinese manufacturer is going to be about one third cheaper and when you talk about full systems you, you quickly talk about millions of dollars cheaper so a lot of utilities a lot of companies are going to adopt the chinese mega packs um, and so anyways there's pros there's cons but i believe there is a dent in the thesis if you only buy for the software I have not made a decision for STEM yet. You know, like I said, it may be in the too hard pile. It may be too hard for me to fully understand it. Um, but I will continue to research it, and it's definitely a fascinating company. Um, one thing that it's doing is that it's increasing my certainty in the Tesla energy business, and it is increasing me being worried about the utilities, because if you solve battery, which they are and they were of solving, you are going to have tremendous disruption in the in the utility sector because storage is 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 the main um, limiting factor or pain point uh, before solar takes off. And if we have scale storage, we'll have scale solar, and solar will be the cheapest energy. So, anyways, this was it for it for today. This is not investment advice. This is just entertainment. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your like. I appreciate your subscribes. Thank you and have a wonderful day.